Yeah, as a matter of fact, spring may be in full swing, mm -hmm. but winter ha has been long and it's still hanging on for some people. And you're probably getting by now a little cabin fever. You're ready to go on an adventure. Oh, you're right about that. Absolutely. A lot of people want to hit the road, and it's important to make sure that your vehicle is in top running condition. And I know the right person we need to speak with. Uh, who, who do you think of that, that should be? Our car coach, Lauren Fitz. Absolutely. <laughs> who just got back <laughs> from the auto show in New York. I follow her on social media. There That's you how go. I know that. Uh, Lauren joins us now from yep. Buffalo with some tips on, you know, Car Care because National Car Care Month kicks off tomorrow. So, Lauren, where do we start in getting our car ready for spring? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is the same thing I hope you will do is check the tire pressures. I mean, think of how brutal this weather was this winter. I mean, you, you've been reporting it all winter, you know, from it's warm, it's cold, there's ice, there's snow. No matter where you were in the country, you were affected, and they put salt on the road and beet juice. We discussed that as well. Hmm. And a lot of that destroys your vehicle. So first thing you want to do is check your tires. So when you check your tire pressure, and you don't have to be a mechanic to do that, of course, get the number from inside your driver's door, and it's worth investing in a you know a couple dollar tire pressure gauge. Also, look at those tires. Do you have bald spots? Do you have a bubble on the side of your of your tire from hitting that pothole? If you do, you have to replace the tire. So I want you to be safe. And with the summer, we're now into construction mm -hmm. season, and so it's really important that your tires, the only thing that touches the road, are taken care of. Hey, Lauren, before we spring forward, yeah. using mm -hmm. that little term, uh, we, we think back at winter. We hearken back, and, and although we could see the snow on the windshield and on the roof, we always had to remove that mm -hmm. stuff. What are some other things that winter can actually do to a car that can be detrimental that we don't normally typically think about? Well, I'll, believe it or not, the paint. You know, so you may have a new car, used car, and the paint actually d loses its luster. So a good wash, a good wax, you can do it yourself. You can burn 200 calories an hour if you wax your own car. Mm. And then, of course, either do it yourself or take it to a mechanic, have them check all the fluids, the brakes, which are very important, the exhaust system, which rots mm. out, and all the lines underneath, the brake lines, the fuel lines. Anything that looks funny, if you said, gee, I have this weird noise I've kind of been putting off, Please get that taken care of, or you will be stuck on the side of the road. All right, Lauren, thanks so much. And I got to get that pollen off my car, too. That's the oh, other thing that yes. we're dealing with this no time of year. Yes. Uh, thanks so much, Lauren, for joining us. Someone actually was writing words in the pollen on my car, so you know it's time. It for is the definitely car wash. time. You know, people are <laughs> celebrating spring, but you know,